Jebediah again. What? So I'm sweating my my family jewels off right now. Yeah. Got a little swamp ass going. It's my channel, I can say ass. So what we're doing, we're doing raised beds. The soil is about that deep. Some of these poles we had to get rebar just to put a hole in the ground. So I had some dirt delivered yesterday. Gonna go with the lumber through here, raise a bed, and then I'm gonna be able to drive the tractor down through here after these are built. I'm gonna build a bed, put dirt in it, build a bed, put dirt in it, and leapfrog out. And then for maintenance, I'll have a path here for just for the tractor. Bring dirt in, scoop the dirt out. So uh, that's it. I'm not going with treated wood. It's not worth it. When a carpenter bee drills into a treated board and it doesn't kill it, that tells me that treated board ain't treated. So uh, eventually what I'm gonna do, I'll have these boards here and I know eventually they'll rot. What I will do though, I grow, if you wanna ask me what the number one cash crop here in our area is mountain stone. Every time I grade the road, I get three or four buckets. So I'm gonna get rock eventually and on these boards, just stack the rock on it. And when the lumber rots, the dirt will still be there and the rocks will be there and I'll have raised beds with rock. So, uh, matter of fact, I'm trying, I gotta figure out what to do with all the rock that I constantly get. We put in a food plot, half the day spent picking rock up. So uh, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna grab the camera real quick and I'm gonna show you this tractor. And if you don't have one, you need one. This thing's not American made. I'm gonna turn around. But it's American assembled, it's made. I'm going to say it's assembled in Chattanooga. And Chattanooga is right down the road from us. But it, this is a Mahindra, but it's not. And you're like, what? Make your mind up. This is actually a Mitsubishi. And it's 26 horsepower. And being 26 horsepower, I don't have any of the Mr. Catros on it. This thing's very easy to work on. There's the fuel filter, bam, you're done. The oil filter's right there, bam, you're done. One of the things I've added, I added a toolbox right here. I've got a holder here for a hammer when it comes to hooking up the three points. The coffee mate, inside there I've got gloves. I drilled a hole here and then tie wrapped it to the bar. I've got chains for pulling people out, toe straps. So one of the things that I did do and I modified it, let me go to here. I put an adjustable link here. It only came with one. I know that they say only use one, but I'm impatient, so I'll play with both of them. I got that off of eBay. These bars are real easy to bend. That's the only thing I don't like about them. That's why I went with another adjustable link. It takes a lot of the tension off. And of course, you have to have a beer holder. I don't have beer in it right now. Alcohol is bad for you. So here's the boards. There's more of the fence. And here's my lovely assistant. Aww. She's a very patient woman. And there's the view. So we're gonna keep on going, and you can see I got the gate where you can drive the tractor through it. Putting a fence up for the hot wire fence for the bears. But there's the cabin, and we're gonna keep working. This is Jebediah, your friendly Amish electrician. I figured I don't have enough ticks and chiggers on me yet, so I'm just gonna roll around the grass here. So I've got one more scab to put up and then we're done. It's time to start filling dirt in. Figure let the camera walk you through what we've got so far. The plan so I can get the tractor in here, fill these up, and eventually start working our way backwards. And uh, we'll just build as we go and as we need. This is a good start for us. So uh, anyway, let the camera walk you through and show you what we got. Thanks for watching. Thank you. 
Hey, it's Jebediah, your friendly rocket surgeon. What? So, since uh, the last little scene we showed you, we've got all the dirt uh, in the raised beds. It took over 50 trips. Uh, I'm worn out. That tractor's got no suspension, and I almost flipped it once. Ta-da! So, two of my favorite tools when working in a raised bed is a staple gun because the packs, once I empty them, I'll staple it to the raised bed, and I know when I plant. My other one, my other favorite tool is a hoe, just like your mom. So let's go and walk through here real quick. So I've got everything laid out. I've got spinach, peppers. We had a nice pepper last night. I saved the seeds. I'm going to see if it'll grow. Then we got carrots. I'm going to try my shot at lima beans. I've already got potatoes planted, but we had some that went to... Uh, sprout so i'm going to try them i've been told you can't do that i don't know why not but i'm going to try it and then we're going to go with some romaine tomatoes which i like in a salad and for canning and then peas i love peas and i'm from the south you have to have okra even if you don't eat it you have to grow it it's a rule squash blech. cucumbers and then the old standby green beans and then i want to show you something else that we've done so I'm on a pretty bad hill here. I've got a gauge on the tractor for a tilt. And uh, just this spot here is at 20 degrees. 25 degrees, you will start to tip your tractor. I know this, trust me. I about did it yesterday. I got real lucky. I've got beet juice in the tractor tires and it still wanted to flip. I had it raised too high. Keep the bucket low. I was trying to save some time and saving time, of course it'll hurt you. So what we've done, we've cut a road in here. I got an excavator in here last year. I cut and brought it out and let it settle over the winter and then I box scraped it one more time. I'll get some gravel order and I'll put it on here. I hate mud. I wanna work it when it's raining or right after the rain. So uh, that's what we got going on. I wanna show you just a couple more things. We'll walk up the hill a little bit. So I'm, I believe in bartering, so I barter with my neighbor, <coughs> whiskey. We'll leave it at that, it's whiskey, right? It's Tennessee. <clears throat> we don't buy whiskey, we make it. So over here, I got my asparagus bed. Eventually, I want it to go all the way down. I love asparagus, it's a weed that you can eat. So eventually this will all be asparagus. This is grown in mushroom dirt. This is an eyesore right now. We've got this fenced off for the blueberries and it wound up being a, uh, a standby garden until we could get this done. So we're gonna be planting and uh, appreciate you watching and we're gonna get to work here. Once again, thank you for watching. Well, this finishes it up. You can see how we got the, the seeds in the ground. I'll sprinkle a little bit of fertilizer on it. And we'll walk you through the camera and you can see how we've uh, labeled each box that way. I can remember what we planted, to be honest. I looked down once, forgot what we planted just like that. So another thing I'm doing, I'm just getting sticks and gathering them up. That way I know where the rows are planted at. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe and uh, leave a nasty comment. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. What I'm doing I don't have irrigation lines run to this yet and we're still gonna expand the garden I really don't want to go eight crap with the lines yet till I get the rest of the layout done I got to put a water tank in for rain collection and a gutter so what I'm doing right now I do this I've got two tanks one for herbicides and then one just for water and I use this to water my fruit tree so I said hey I need to irrigate what we just planted this works pretty good it's an on-demand pump you hit the trigger water the line. Notice where we put the sticks. Now I don't have to waste a lot of water either. It works really good. Anyway, that's going to wrap it all up. We want to show you how we're watering things, and especially if you got a, if your garden's a little bit away from your house, this helps. So uh, anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, and like I said, please leave a nasty comment.
And uh, we just wanted to add this to the end of figuring people probably wondering how we're watering stuff. I do appreciate you watching. Thanks for hanging out.